Hi everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start things off this week with some potentially great news for those who suffer from migraine headaches. A new study from the University of Pennsylvania's Perlman School of Medicine finds that migraines may be caused by variations in the network of arteries that supply blood to the brain. The study found that subjects who regularly suffer from migraines were more likely to have an incomplete circle of willis, which is the name given to a network of collateral arteries at the base of the brain. Incomplete circle of willis is fairly common, apparently, and if these findings are backed up by further study, they could lead eventually to more personalized and effective treatments for people who suffer from migraines in the future. Next up, researchers at the University of Washington have devised a brand new method for detecting DNA mutations that could lead to improved diagnosis and treatment of a wide range of diseases including cancer and tuberculosis. The new detection method uses specially designed probe molecules that bind with DNA sequences suspected of containing mutations. If the probe molecule and the target sequence match up, the probe will emit a fluorescent glow. No glow means no match, which indicates the presence of a mutation. Detecting specific mutations is important because mutations in even a single gene can render diseases such as tuberculosis resistant to antibiotics. And finally, here's a bit of cool news. Dr. Ian Burney of the University of Manchester's Center for the History of Science, Technology, and Medicine has found that the procedures of modern police crime scene investigation were actually influenced by fictional detectives Dr. Thorndike and Sherlock Holmes. Fans of these characters, and I'm a Holmes lover myself, will often speak casually about how their investigative techniques predicted the way that modern police investigators approach crime solving, but Dr. Burney's study found that there are real, concrete links between these two late 19th and early 20th century fictional detectives and the modern, real-life concept of police CSI. Dr. Burney found that Hans Gross and Edmund Lacard, the two men most responsible for modern professional police crime scene investigation, specifically referenced Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's Sherlock Holmes and R. Austin Freeman's Dr. John Thorndike as role models in textbooks for forensic investigators. Doctors discover a new cause of migraines, researchers develop a newer and better method for detecting genetic mutations, and speaking of detection, it turns out modern forensic procedures were actually influenced by the example of two fictional detectives, Dr. John Thorndike and my favorite, Sherlock Holmes. I say, Dr. Otson, that certainly qualifies as good news, wouldn't you say? I'm really sorry. I just couldn't help myself. Yes, it was bad, wasn't it? Sherlock Holmes accent wasn't that bad, was it? No, it was.